Hello again. Today I will show you how to go from zero to a complete Rexodium avatar in VRChat in about 10 to 15 minutes using my skin edit tool. The video will be cut up into multiple chapters so you can skip forward or pause at whichever chapter is most relevant to you. Please keep in mind that this tutorial requires the Rexodium avatar package, the dynamic bone package, and the skin edit Rexodium package, which are all paid assets. The first thing you want to do is download Unity and all the packages that you need to your computer. The Rexodium avatar and skin edit Rexodium packages should be available through your Gumroad account after purchasing them. On the skin editor Rexodium page, I have also included links to all of the other things that you need, like Unity, the VRChat SDK, and the Dynamic Bones package. What I like to do is opening all these links into new tabs and downloading them from there. The VRChat SDK should download automatically because it's a direct download link. For the Rexodium avatar, you want to go to the content page and download the VRChat AV3 or Avatar 3 package. The Dynamic Bones package you can only install through Unity, so we'll have to wait with that one. After downloading all of the packages, I like putting them on my desktop for later. Next, we want to download and install Unity, for which VRChat offers a really helpful web page. Click the current supported Unity version link, and then the click here to install Unity Hub link. On this page, you want to press download Unity Hub, which is the software that manages all of your Unity installations. Open the downloaded setup program and walk through the installation. After the installation is complete, go back to the VRChat page and press click here to install the current version of Unity via Unity Hub. This will automatically install the correct Unity version to your computer for VRChat. My Unity Hub tells me I already have the correct version of Unity installed, but you should follow the instructions on your screen and potentially make an account. When Unity is done installing, go to the Projects page of your Unity Hub and create a new project using the correct Unity version. When the Unity project is done loading, we want to start importing all of the Unity packages that we need. The order in which we import these is very important. You want to start by importing the VRChat SDK3 package into the Unity project first. After the SDK, you want to install the Dynamic Bones package, which you should do through the Unity Asset Store. Then, after the Dynamic Bones package, install the Rexodium Avatar package. And then, the last package you want to install is the Skin Edit Rexodium package. After that is done, the setup is complete. To get to the avatars, you want to navigate the project files inside Unity and you want to go into Assets, Avatars, Rexodium Skin Edit, Scenes. And in there, there will be the Unity scene that contains all of the avatars. Open the scene and select the avatar with the size that you want. After selecting the avatar, there should be a button on the right of your screen which says Open in Editor. If you press that button, it opens this avatar into the Skin Edit tool. To make it full screen, grab it by the Skin Edit name and drag it next to the Scene view. In here, just play with all of the settings and make your avatar look however you want. For the example, I just made a very quick and dirty avatar. When you are happy with how your avatar looks in the preview, scroll to the bottom and press fast save. 
This will commit all of the changes to your avatar and you can switch back to the scene view to see what it looks like in full quality. When you are happy with the results and want to upload your avatar to VRChat, switch back to the Skin Edit tab and press Save and Optimize. This will prepare your avatar to be fast and efficient in VRChat, which of course everybody will appreciate. When Unity is done crunching, go to the top of your Unity and press VRChat SDK, Show Control Panel, which is the upload menu for VRChat avatars. Log in with your account and select the avatar you've been working on in the Unity scene. At the bottom there will be the Build and Publish for Windows button, which will start the upload of your avatar to VRChat. You might have to be a bit patient with this part because sometimes it can take a while. Eventually, it will come up with the new avatar menu, where you'll have to enter your avatar name, set it to private so that nobody can steal your avatar, and check the checkbox at the bottom to agree to VRChat's terms of service. To customize your avatar's picture, go back to the scene view and start playing with the VRC cam object in the scene. A useful trick is selecting the VRC cam game object and pressing Ctrl Shift F, which will move the camera to whatever you're looking at in the scene view. Switch back to the game view and make sure that you are happy with all of the settings and then press upload. After some more waiting, your avatar will finish uploading and you can start using it in VRChat. And there you go! From zero to a complete Rexolium avatar in VRChat in about 10 to 15 minutes. I hope this was useful to you and that it helps you on your journey to creating many more avatars into the future. Leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and until next time, bye bye.